Uh, our first guest tonight, a talented gentleman who has starred in such motion pictures as Splash, uh, The Money Pit, Nothing in Common, and his latest, co-starring Dan Aykroyd, is Dragnet. With all his success, his bio claims that he is still gregarious and approachable. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tom Hanks. <laughs> goes crazy. Uh, I tell you. Nice to see you here. Very nice to be back, sir. Gregarious and approachable. Is that, is that true? Listen, that's uh, how I've been described by, oh, so many people. Gregarious, <laughs> approachable, and I'm still trying to figure out just what the heck gregarious means. Yeah. Out Does, outgoing? Is that gregarious? I think outgoing. Is maybe. that what it is? Yeah, okay. You like, you like people and so forth? Yeah, I guess and so. Then not many stars could be described as gregarious. It's, uh, it's a select few. I yeah. think me. You? Elvis and uh, <laughs> he was he was a the, people person. The, the wasn't Kang, he? Like the Kang of rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. You like yeah. Elvis? Oh, I mean, I, as a matter of fact, I've been mean, going through a major Elvis phase. It started. Uh, I was reading some articles, and you know, a, a '60s weekend at one of those great rock and roll radio stations, mm -hmm. and hearts trying to figure out another format and haven't been able to. <laughs> uh, and I, I went off <clears throat> and I rented. Uh, I was in a, a video jag, and I rented really the best films of, of Elvis Presley, the finest motion pictures Elvis Presley made. Really, Jailhouse Rock, Jailhouse Rock yeah. and Clambake, really, the two finest of the, uh, <laughs> of the oldest films. And I, I just, uh, I noticed, this may be a rhetorical question, maybe you'll have the answer. Did Elvis forget how to dance the more <laughs> movies he made? I don't know. Have you seen this? In <laughs> Jailhouse Rock, he did the, his own choreography. He's sliding all over the place. Yeah. He's coming down poles, dancing, balancing on chairs. I'm going to stand up for Clambake. Uh -huh. Clam bay. Clam bay. <laughs> Everybody doing a clam bay. It had deteriorated. It was, it was like, uh, it was yeah. a, it's like a, uh, like a recessive dance gene was in the Presley happens. family yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, you, you're, you're like one of the busiest men uh, making films today. Uh, yeah, Dragnet, of course, is open. Has it opened? Is no, it, it opens next week. Opens next week. Know, Be a big hit, this thing, a runaway oh, blockbuster? Let's hope so, yeah. sir. And, and you've also recently done a film about uh, stand-up comics, yes, right? Yes, with Sally Field, yes, yeah. actually. And you actually performed as a comedian, right? I went around to various clubs in Los Angeles Where'd and you also go? here in New York. I went to the Improv. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to the Improv in the Valley. Mm -hmm. I went to the Improv in the Simi Valley. He's, Bud Friedman's <laughs> got about nine million improvs all over the place. He's pumping them out there, getting them in. But yeah, I went off and did some. And you know, hecklers... There's only one way to handle them. How's that? Oh, yeah, well, you try harder, pal. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can't, you can't, it takes a while. Yeah, you can't teach that. You're no, born no, with you that. Really, well, and, and you can learn with it. it. It's much better than, oh, shut up, stupid, you know. <laughs> or, well, look at the cow you're with, you know. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, now, you're, uh, you're a very witty fellow yourself. Have you ever done... Well, I'm uh, gregarious as hell, yeah. I'll give you that. Uh, and I find you approachable. You know, there you go. Uh, but have you ever done stand-up comedy? No, I never this? had, and so it was a necessary part of uh, research. It, what, what were your observations? It's tough, isn't it? It's very hard. Yeah. You stay up extremely late, like you do a show, oh, well, you do a show hopefully at 10.30, but mm -hmm. more often than not, you get these really lousy slots. Yeah. I mean, piece of junk slots. But, yeah. 11.30, 125, but yeah. I'm a 10 o'clock guy. So I automatically, <laughs> automatically just began complaining, and so all the comics said, hey, you're really getting this down. You really got yeah. to complain more and drink tickets and neato stuff like that. Were, so. were, you, were you just mortified the first time you got up in front of an audience? And stank to high heaven, yes. I yeah. couldn't believe what was happening. Yeah, something yeah. would be desperately wrong if you weren't really scared, and two, if you turned out to be great the first time. Oh, and, and neither of those things, well, one of those things happened. I I was really scared. It was yeah. absolutely horrifying. It was at Igby's, a club in, uh, in what I also did it here in New York at the uh, Catch a Rising Star and, and the Comic Strip. Yeah. Really <laughs> fine institutions of higher comedy. Uh, did, you, did you ever get to the point where you were really comfortable with it and you, you enjoyed it and you thought, well, this might be a really nice way to uh, augment my career here? It's a, sad, it's a sad life, Dave, and in no way, shape, or form did I ever want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's very fun, but it's, it's just hard work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as I'm guessing you know. I, I went through that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. did. You're, you're an institution, Dave. I am. And you should be institutionalized. Thank you. But seriously, <laughs> Anton, stay up with you us here. You see that? Yeah. You see that? Uh, see, see? I tell you what, now, do you want to share some of the stuff you did uh, with from um, your actor? Well, no, I just did some. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, then we'll, uh, we'll do a commercial, and we'll be back here with the gregarious and approachable. Paul, now that's the song. That's, uh, what is that? 
Word up. Yeah, Word up. And you said you weren't going to do that anymore because why? Well, because it's become a commercial for cherry coke. Yeah. It's no longer Word Up, but I couldn't resist. All right, well, it still sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. So, Tom. <laughs> sure. uh, you recently in Israel, again on a film? Uh, yeah, I was, I was working in Israel, yes. Yeah. This was about a year ago. And I felt like a, a, a real jerk. I saw I lost my passport in Israel, which is a real stupid thing to yeah, do. You're not supposed in to any country in no. the world, not just Israel. Don't, don't you, leave anywhere without your passport. She really should do it. Funny enough, I got one in three days. <laughs> I got a new one right in three days. Is that right? It's impossible to do in the United States, yeah. but I got a new one. In three days. Well, how did you lose it to begin with? Well, I, w I was, my folks were over, and we went to the famous ruins at Caesarea. Anybody know Israel? The ruins of Caesarea, a very famous yeah. place in Aqueduct. A beautiful place, a great land, and the car was, was left open, and... Oh, somebody stole it, you think? Well, I didn't want to say that, because I, I would not want anybody to think that Israel's not a very safe and nice place to well, go. Probably it is, probably stolen by an American tourist. I'm guessing... <laughs> Um, that's right. Well, let's hope so, because if it was stolen by somebody else who would put it to ill use. Some, mm -hmm. I have visions of, you know, some guy with a towel on his head, an AK-47 under his jacket, <laughs> yeah. slapping my passport down at JFK. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Hanks. I want to see Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> very, it's a very scary thing. It happened. So, uh, uh, but overall, you had a good time there. Oh, it was great. Yeah. It, it's, matter of fact, it's a very small country, so you can get around. You can drive around very easily. I once rented a car. And I drove across something called the Wilderness of Zin. Z-I-N, the Wilderness of Driving from Jerusalem uh, to the planet Mongo. It was no, just, you no. just kind of make a left. <laughs> no. It was like that. It's, very, <laughs> yeah. it's a beautiful country. It's a very yeah. nice place. Uh, and you know, on Friday, they knock off about 1 o'clock, Dave. Yeah. 1 o'clock, they're, yeah. you know, sipping the cappuccinos at the, at the Dizengoff. And yeah. here in America, of course, we have to work on Fridays. We're still we, hard at work, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom, Dave. Shabbat Did, Shalom. Um, <laughs> Did you, uh, 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 driving is the same over there? You drive on the same side of the yes, street? Yes, you do, yeah. and you drive usually very small cars. Yeah. I got I got this little Daihatsu. I don't know what kind of car it is. Yeah. Is it made in Korea, a Daihatsu? I have no I'm idea. Not familiar with This Daihatsu. thing is about the size of these two chairs wrapped in metal. This mm -hmm. is about what it is. <laughs> it has tires on it the size of those push lawnmowers, you know? The, not the motor kind. <laughs> the the, the, yeah, about that big. And we clocked that thing up to 140 kilometers an hour, yeah. which I think is about 35 in American miles. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Did you uh, uh, have any trouble with the uh, uh, rules I, and regulations? Anything I, different? I got stopped at one point because I was I was driving without a driver's license, which is, ah, is not a smart now, thing to do. No passport, no driver's license. Well, what can I say? You're in the country illegally. I was trying to explain to this 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 police officer why I'm driving without a license. This is how you can't do that. You have to. What do you think you are? You have to drive with a driver's license. You can't drive without a driver's license. <laughs> and uh, my my good girlfriend was there, lovely Rita Wilson. We were having a great time, and. Uh, she had her driver's license, right. and she said, well, I have my driver's license. And she says, I'm not talking to you. You're not driving. He is driving. He does not have a driver's license. I, I try to show him my American Express card that I got every day. But does this do anything? No, this is not a driver's license. This is American Express credit card. Why are you driving? You're not supposed to drive. You don't have a license. Why are you driving? I said, well, because I'm the man. I'm the man, and I like to drive. I'm the man. I feel stupid. And then he says, the, the, the Israeli police officer says, Okay, you can drive. <laughs> no, you really should. You should let. <laughs> that's, oh. that's, that's, that's that's word for word verbatim exactly what happened. That's great. Uh, now you're you're America's favorite film star, oh, aren't you? No, you know no, you are. No. Bit, uh... <laughs> let's talk about uh, let's talk about Dragnet. This, yeah, this to Dra me seems Dan like a, a great idea for a movie. You, Friday, yeah, you and Dan Aykroyd. Well, that yes. must have been a lot of fun, huh? Joe Friday, Dragon, Dan is Joe Friday. It was yeah. a blast, yeah, yeah. It was, it's a lot of fun. Big budget film, this Huge thing? budget, and a massive amount of money went to get the music. The three main pieces of music you have to have when doing Dragnet is the, the theme, dum da dum dum the Dragnet Sting, <laughs> as it's called, the walking down the hallway music, uh -huh. which is um, dun da da dun da 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 And you also need the upbeat closing credits music, which da 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 which, curiously enough, if you play backwards, is the theme to Adam 12. Mm -hmm. We had no idea. <laughs> they just took the music, turned it around like that. I'm not familiar would... with the third one. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's over the closing credits. So I know of the, first the of the Dragnet 67, the color Dragnets, yeah. that's the closing credits. Yeah. Then, do we have a clip here? We have no clip? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, new, opening it's soon. a new policy. Yeah. They don't want to put out too well, many. You well, have, you have no license, no passport, <laughs> and no clip. No clip. What a goofball. <laughs> uh, 
Geez, Tom, uh, thanks for being here. It's great oh, to have you with us. It's a pleasure to be on your show, and even on Friday, Dave. Yeah, Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Sorry to drag you out on Friday. Nice to see you.